All right, it is time for today's take. Charlie joining us live now. Charlie, more tonight about the UConn women and a milestone win. That's right, Cassandra. Last night, the UConn women's basketball team became just the third Division I program ever to win 100 consecutive games. And with all due deference to the Trinity College squash team and Penn State Women's Volleyball Club, a lot more people were paying attention to this one. That dominance, that rarely seen greatness has raised the sports talk question, is this a good thing? or a bad thing for the sport and my answer is unequivocally absolutely yes this is not only a good thing but a great thing the Huskies dominance over this stretch of games and really over the past few decades is special it draws attention to the game most people can't name five WNBA players and for those that can there's a good chance that the players they can name will be UConn products a lot of times, most times, women's sports don't get the recognition that they deserve. What UConn has done, what they are doing, and what I suspect they'll continue to do is sustain a greatness that demands respect, demands attention. And for all the young girls out there, all the young athletes who are looking for role models, I think that's really important because the list of options isn't all that long. The U.S. women's soccer team, the individual standouts like Serena Williams, and year after year, the UConn women's basketball team, and that's today's take. 